What's up everyone? Today, we talk about Ford's all new refresh, the 2020 Ford GT Liquid Carbon and the updated Golf Heritage livery. What's going on everyone? My name is D and welcome once again to D's Rides, the channel with vlogs, how to's and car reviews. So Ford unveiled two new unique appearance options at the Chicago Auto Show. The newly available Ford GT Liquid Carbon features GT's carbon fiber body fully exposed as well as the restyled Golf Racing Heritage livery, which pays homage to Ford's 1969 Le Mans win. Plus the supercar's carbon fiber wheels are now available for the first time with the Heritage liver. The liquid carbon addition has been constructed with a single sheet of carbon fiber to ensure that the weave matches throughout this car. In lieu of the normal paint scheme, the factory will leave the car's carbon body panels exposed only coating it with a special clear coat. This car got a 13 horsepower bump in power, but has the same 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6, going from 647 horsepower to 660. This extra power can be attributed to the upgraded engine internals, gallery cooled pistons, higher energy ignition coils, as well as larger intercoolers. Many of these upgrades were inspired by the track-only GT Mach 2 version of the GT. The revised ducting in the buttresses, Ford says, increases airflow by 50%, allowing for a broader torque range. 
It also gets a new titanium acropovic exhaust that weighs nine pounds less than the current exhaust setup. The liquid carbon's bare carbon fiber look can also be combined with painted calipers, painted mirror caps, and racing stripes that run over top of the car. This car is already a track monster, but Ford has taken it to the next level by stiffening the dampening and track mode for better handling during quick transitions. Owners can choose titanium lug nuts, a six point racing harness anchors, and five interior options and five caliper colors. Ford Performance is also updating GT's iconic heritage livery with a new design that includes a black pinstripe to divide the distinct blue and orange colors, recalling the 1968 through 69 Le Mans winning GT40. The optional carbon fiber number switches from nine on the 2019 model to six for 2020, matching that of the historic back-to-back -back winning car, chassis number 1075. For the first time on the Heritage model, carbon fiber wheels are available in lieu of aluminum alloy. The production breakdown for these two packages are around 12 units per year for the liquid carbon and around 50 for the Golf Edition. These cars carry a hefty price tag as the 2020s will start at around 500 k and you can add an additional $250,000 for the liquid carbon version. Ford also states that production of the 2024 GT is still ongoing and will continue into 2022. So everybody, what do you think about this new refresh of the Golf Heritage delivery as well as the new 2024 GT liquid carbon? Do you like an entire car that is exposed carbon fiber? Or do you like the painted Golf Heritage Edition? Let me know down in the comments below. And that is also a very, very hefty price tag that these two cars will entail. And don't forget, you still have to get through Ford's rigorous application process to even be able to get one of these cars. So everybody, that is indeed all the time I have today. Thank you for coming by. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and remember to smash that bell notification button. So each and every time I put out a video, you'll be notified. And as always, everybody remember everyone deployed and I'm out. Ooh. Ooh.